Let's speak to Barnaby Phillips in Paris for us. And uh, Barnaby, the French foreign minister has uh, been talking about Ukraine, suggesting that there could be sanctions voted in as early as tomorrow. Yes, that's right. He's talking about the possibility of uh, visa bans against high up Russian officials uh, and assets being frozen. What I think European leaders want to do is get their act together, uh, get their ducks in a row before that summit meeting in Brussels tomorrow uh, and coordinate with the Americans and iron out any differences. And John Kerry's here as well. So on the one hand, there will be meetings with Sergei Lavrov, who's flying in from Madrid. Uh, an attempt to bridge a vast uh, gulf or, or perception uh, with the Russians. Uh, and also, the West needs to be speaking from the same sheet, if you like. Uh, and I think that will also be the focus of the diplomacy in Paris today. So, of course, this meeting was ostensibly called to deal with the issue of Syria, another issue where uh, Russia is at loggerheads with, uh, with the US and the West. Um, but that's pretty much been overshadowed by Ukraine, hasn't it? It has been, yes. I mean, I'm outside the Elysee Palace and in the next hour or so, the meeting will go ahead. Specifically, it's to do with helping the Lebanese government cope with the spillover effects of the Syrian crisis. And, and President Suleiman is here. There will be talk about financial assistance for the, what is it, one million or so Syrian refugees in Lebanon. And there will be talk about financial assistance for the Lebanese army. The Saudis are here and they're talking about a three billion dollar offer uh, to, uh, to uh, assist and equip the Lebanese government, mainly, it should be said, with French weaponry. So all that will go ahead, but there's only so much diplomacy that can happen on one day. And I think the real focus for John Kerry and Sergei Lavrov uh, and Laurent Fabius and William Hague and, and all the other Western leaders uh, is going to be on Ukraine. And I think the significance of today is that, yes, Presidents Obama and Putin have spoken on the telephone. Uh, the Americans and the Russians have staked out they're very different positions and understandings of what's happened in Ukraine over the past weeks and indeed months. Here in Paris, they actually get to meet, that is Kerry, Kerry and Lavrov, face to face. And we'll get an indication, I would suppose, Julie, of what hope there is of some sort of diplomatic solution. Perhaps that's a little bit premature, but at least momentum towards defusing or toning down uh, the rhetoric uh, and taking some of the heat out of this crisis. Is that a, an impossible hope or is it a realistic one? I think Paris will perhaps give us a clue about that today. OK, we'll wait to see what happens there. Barnaby, thanks very much indeed for that.